But I liked it, it was actually like, it never felt dumb. That's pretty good. Radio, what is up? Welcome to GTV, people. Second time lucky. Let's get live on this game for tonight. Division 3 action here from Oz Fortress Retro 6 versus TBC. And uh, quite a blessing for Haydeno, the demo from the red team, that being TBC, because he botched his first rollout. See the two scouts going over the top from the blue team. Soldier and the red scout over on the left. You see the scout forward pressuring Mouse. He gets shut down. Big bomb coming up over the top. Katie's getting taken down as well. This is a really good advantage. You see those red scouts moving forward and the whole team catching them out and choke there as they tried to back away, Mercy. Yeah, Koza just went berserk there. Got a big triple kill. Pretty much solo pushed out of the team. Good to see his soldiers were like aggressive in support and he actually got away with his life. So a uh, pretty big win there. Off the back of some good early demo, man. Um, Faith was locked out of the pack, which didn't really cost him his life, but he had to sick up a bit more heals. As Ubering out to save this point, uh, ambitious stuff, but they're going to get the respawns in time, so it may work out. They are going to have to retreat anyway, just, just they hopefully that lose too many on exit kills. Oh, but Faith and Cadius with two big kills, they may actually be able to uh, turn this one around. Scout on the point is going to ninja the cap just in time. Oh, wow! Well. Uh, it's a good start to the game. Oh, but the yeah, the Ford spawns are long enough though that it's probably not going to matter. They'll get two Ford, but uh, no med, so it doesn't really make a diff. Uh, nice stuff though. Yeah, and I mean, uh, blue team of course was able to pick up the medic, and it looks as though the blue medic of course went down. So Som's coming up now, and Uvers are going to be completely even based on when uh, Frick actually managed to get someone to heal. So pretty much had a bit of a reset right here. Blue team, however, are holding on their second, which is a lot nicer than holding on last. And uh, be interesting to see what these teams do here. Going to be looking for some flank plays, trying to get some picks, possibly. Retro are really quite holding quite forward, more than I expect to. I think they were trying to decide if they wanted to peek the corner. Uh, they didn't really see much resistance, but uh, they just knew it was 6 up. And uh, interesting to see now, look where Brutalix and uh, Som are holding. Down bottom left, that's uh, not where I usually see Meds put. Uh, he'll be super safe there, but on the same token, uh, it leaves... Uh, it's difficult for the four players to get over heals. Uh, Faith is really isolated on the right and will be really dependent on um, Mouse to kind of protect his right flank. And there we go. Now they've got Uber, they're moving more forward to a more of a traditional holding spot. Uh, really vulnerable if a soldier can get in through computer room, but yeah. uh, someone should be specking that. There really actually should be a soldier scout there. Soldier scout sitting in here in, uh, in this room here. I think we agreed that was uh, what? Sewer? sewer. Yeah. yeah. Search treatment plant, should I say. But, um, so if you have a look at the Gravy TV HUD people, luckily this gorgeous HUD does show clearly who is overhealed and who is not. So it's always interesting to see, uh, you know, what the distribution of overheals are when we're in a moment like this before we get into the action. Yeah, it's actually quite telling. The, uh, War Retro 6 scouts aren't going and getting buffs as much. Off, They're playing probably a little bit too far off as a result. But uh, TBC just faffing around. I, I don't know what they're waiting for. I think they're looking to s try to decide. It's not the easiest push because, um, well, I mean, it, it's not the easiest suicide. You can't just kind of sneak a player in, which is what Randy's trying to do. Here we go. He's going to be forced to Uber, but uh, he's going to force a pretty comfortable interlock, and uh, there's no one else inside in computer. So uh, those Ubers achieve absolutely nothing. They're just going to bounce off each other and back. Meanwhile, the oh, big going pipe. huge on the flank. Sorry, excuse hey, my yelling. It was huge, wasn't it? Yeah, hey, Dino, lucky to get away with his life. The pipe that counts, and... Uh, 3v5. These two players are getting a little bit ahead of themselves, the TBC guys. Med needs to be getting in here. And a uh, nice retreat there, back to heals. And uh, that pretty much solidates his point. Brutalix. <laughs> yeah, that's not going to work, buddy. Yeah, KD is coming out now. He's trying to get on the demo. He's going to take a rocket and back it out, though. Really impressive work before by Rumo. Managing to pick up that demo. Really secured them that point. Yep. And uh, they've got Uber advantage. Probably a bad time to run Spy. But... I guess they don't know they've got as much uber advantage as they did, because the rumor has gone off class. I was assuming he was just forward spawning or something, but apparently not. Oh, I love the spy. It's just, I, I wouldn't do it with uber advantage. That said, though... I man, wouldn't walk in here undisguised, even knowing how uh, soldiers like to poke the ear. The biggest it. mistake teams make when pushing this last point is not having a bit of intel first. You need to know where their medic is. You need to have a clear idea oh, where you're going to go yeah. with uber. <laughs> for those of you looking for rumo, I have found pieces of him here, here. Here and here. So the two soldiers from the blue team, they've been retro six walking forwards. That is dubious and brutalix. Just uh, and you see the medic holding quite a standard position here. 
I don't mind. know about standard. It's pretty weird. <laughs> standard in the lower divs. Yeah, yeah, it's yeah, yeah. it's really ambitious. I mean, Do you, okay, I I see it a lot in pugs, so I assumed it was pretty standard. <laughs> maybe I just maybe I just don't know what the fuck I'm talking about on no. process. Well, maybe you're just too Division One, you know? No, no, no. I I haven't really watched what the US teams have ever really done. I've just kind of worked this map myself, and I oh. always end up kind of being on point. They're really dependent on their demo not getting caught here because he's covering two doors mm -hmm. that protect the medic. Uh, which is fine. The demo is perfectly capable of doing that. Um, Katie is counter sniping Rumo. It's just quite oh, technical. Actually being picked, actually, so. Good work by Faith yeah. there, picking him up on the stickies. But yet again, that's just buying them a little bit of time and it's stopping the inevitable push, so. This, is, this is a prick of a last to push off unless you can get some really good picks or force the Uber, kite it, get a couple of picks, and then yeah. Yeah, it's not that bad. It's certainly not as horrible pushing off this blast as it is, water. say... It's no, it's, yeah, it's no snake water, or well, or... or well. Um, the points are quite close. It's just, it's there's a lot of chokes, so... It, it can be difficult to get a good path into the point, but... You just, I don't know, go from under or from middle right and just uber at the choke. You can usually force a fight pretty quickly, and the respawns are long enough that... Uh, I'd be inclined to go off any one soldier pick. So one they heavy put pick. Rumo right forward there to try and get a pick. He had no one with him. It seemed a little bit strange. So he's got a scout with him this time down the bottom. So worst comes, best comes to best, he gets a pick. Worst comes to worst, there's someone there to finish up the bait. All those hats poking out. They can see you, Rumo. And this is so eventful, I I haven't casted such an exciting game, I'm running out of breath. Hey, I should have brought my pillow. Yeah. Uh, Retro 6 should push out. I mean, that's basically it. They can go out and easily force a 5v5 here. The problem is, it's just not... Yeah, here we go. That works too, just... Well, I mean, that was a really awful suicide by Dubious, but the idea was there. Yeah. Just, just, just try something. It. Uh, he wasted a lot of time actually attempting it. Uh, the more time you waste, obviously, the longer you will respawn, so... Oh, there's the headshot, takes down pick. some. And, yep, instant uber by Emfrak. As not going to take any risks. Just multi in the players, get this heavy down. Uh, soldier super low in spawn as well. Demo man top right, that is uh, Faith. He's pretty much going to have to solo this, but pipes are coming in from the flank. That's pretty much all over Red Rover, short of a mob scout, Thadius is in. But could not oh, do No, quite. Medic's got this! Medic has got this! Oh no! He's trying so hard. Wow. So uh, that was the uh, that was the first round, folks. Yes, that took uh, eight minutes. But we've got I really liked Emfrak yeah. pulling his melee out there, actually deciding that more damage in that moment was... Correct. Mm. Medics do that way too often and it's usually wrong, but there it was definitely what I would have done. Yep. As uh, Hedino kind of misses his bot, but I think he's still going to be fine speed. Oh, almost caught out by Faith on the left flank, uh, but Faith's first sticky missed, and when you do that st uh, strat, you really need that first sticky to connect, or I, it's uh, the effect is lost. Oh man, they managed to pick up Randy and Hedino, totally. now they're going to have to fall. They managed to pick up Mouse on their way out, they've definitely lost the point. Can they get out, keep the rest of them up? Oh look, Soldier right here! Gonna be able to pick up this demo, hopefully, surely. Uh, if they've been a little yeah. bit coordinated, which obviously they're falling, so it's quite hard to do, they would have easily been able to pick up a demo and possibly a soldier in the midst of that, but not uber forced either. So they are gonna be able to defend. They do have uber to defend last, so it's not mm, the they end can't, of the world. It, it's a pretty bad defense on second, though. They're gonna try to uber in here and hold it. They're pretty much all depending on their scouts to go big here, though, because the cap has already been done. And uh, Uber had to pop quite early. Brutalix just in good position to hold this down. We'll end up catching Randy as he tries to escape. Uh, so that looks like they're going to keep pushing on here. This is probably a little bit too ambitious. Oh, but they have two scouts on the this point. Bounce the Tiki's crap on. out of the demo. Nice play by Faith. So much damage on those scouts, and uh, consolidates off the back of his players. So uh, yeah, I thought they weren't going to be able to push that last, but just uh, good fast play before the respawner came and. Uh, Absolutely, and after a stack in the first off. round, it was probably good to see some decisions being made. Yeah, momentum's a powerful thing. Sometimes you don't, even if your players are low, if they're not really getting shot by anyone, it doesn't matter. So, had anyone in Faith doing equal amounts of damage there? See, Toodle got cleaned up really early. Oh, oh man, that's an absolute. Jeez. Fucking, oh, Lord. 
Freck. He is running. He is running. Randy giving up his life. Freck turn around. Oh. Yeah, these they, ever, these retro six right pushes are super decisive. They clearly all have an idea of what they're doing, and because the midpoint is so big, when they're willing to commit everyone to one flank, uh, they will just naturally job, have better was. cohesion as a team, and they're just getting more picks faster. Dubious, of course, locking down the door there. He's going to jump down on the point now, do a lot of damage, even if he gets picked up. Players coming in from behind. It's getting a bit even now. Mouse getting super. really low. Here comes the Uber. Beautiful Uber tab. Oh, but he oh, drops no! Mouse the second time. Got him the f <laughs> got the hard tab and missed the easy one. Uh, they probably shouldn't still be in here, but amazingly they're going to wow. get it with the Soldier hovering above the point. That must be a really low uh, cap box. Yeah, I don't... Yeah, then uh, it looked a bit odd, but either way, cap is a cap is a cap, and that's going to be 2-1. Of course, that's going to be in favour of Retro 6. We have a look at the scoreboard here on GDV. And really fast rollout by Faith again. Soldier, however, with a really fast rollout. Some form of uh, possibly gun booty rolly out of something. And, of course, the red demo elected to go to the left now. And Blue's actually got quite a bit of presence on the top there. Katie's getting taken down. Turtle going down. And yeah, Randy yeah. just... Uh, Randy getting a little bit too much positioning for free there. The uh, bombing soldiers kind of disregarded him. And he just was able to rain down rockets from above on his uh, opposing soldiers. And... Uh, Seeing as those bombers weren't able to actually do oh, anything. Oh, dubious. So, oh, this is a nice bomb. Ah, oh, unlucky not to get the med. Mfrag down to 50, and uh, well, there's no no reason not to go there. He would have been just retreating to the last. Mm -hmm. As uh, gonna need some desperation plays here. Maybe Cadius for a big pick. But alternatively, they could have been building an end or something at last. If you're gonna run a sniper, you need to actually go for it. And the scout should be off passing or making a play. But he's making the play. Gets the pop and the pick. Oh, it's a big hit shot. The Retro 6 got what they needed, now they can hold last if they can just consolidate back. But uh, man, Dubious is in a lot of trouble here, just trying to hold the fort. I think this might have been a bit of an overextension by Randy, and yeah, Emfrak just bails on him. They're both going to be lucky to get away. No, the scout flank from behind. Uh, <laughs> not where you'd expect a scout to come from, and all of a sudden the repush is an option. And the Retro 6 are not going to give this up. Mouse going too far forward. The spawner should be able to save the medic in time. Oh. No! Players Look at decided to get the back spawn. Um, by the way, very interesting at that, I think it's Cadius playing Sniper, who's getting a lot of really good 50 shots during uh, the mid uh, versus the combo battle, and that really did have a deciding factor. This scout, however, poking his head out, he is drawing them back a little bit, but they should hopefully be able to clean him up. And that will be a pick. He's going for the back camp, it's not going to matter. Oh, but the no, big bump! No, the oh, no. and the uber drop as well, just... Ring shot to injury, oh. and I don't think anyone's going to be at last. No, there's a scout jewel. Mouse, mouse on 96 takes down the all-important pick on Koza, and we'll move out to the next point. Oh, team down wipe as well. Wasn't sure what was happening at second, but in clutch stuff. But it's dubious on 14. How of capping that up? Radical. So bad for this indeed. game. Yeah, the first two, the first round was a bit of a warm up, and uh, then the next two rounds were Retro Six just stomping with good rollouts. Now both teams seem to have gotten into full swing of things. It's always interesting on this map the decision between switching between sniper and scout because it's a big long map. There's always a lot of good options, uh, but mid is such an amazing point for scouts that if a fight breaks out at mid, I feel like and you're oh. not scout, it can be really bad. I was trying to find Cadius's pop just then. Pretty mad I didn't find it in time for that shot. Dubious is just being obnoxious in lower computer. Finally caught off. <laughs> really just should have died a lot quicker. But uh, yeah, but like I was saying, like at mid I feel like scouts are just so incredibly important. The maps are so wide. Uh, but at this second point, scouts are pretty poo and there's just some really imbalanced uh, sniper lines. So. That the demo should have been dead. Scout's getting aggressive. Cool. Brutalix down. So that's demo, and having demo down as this engagement happens. Yeah, and they are on the back foot. Scout's going to be able to forward that sniper. Scout managing to draw that soldier, and so that the medic could get out. Good work there. Yeah, pretty bad play by Retro Six. So they just got um, sandwiched with uh, when it was pretty obvious what was happening if they just had a bit of visual information, but I think they didn't notice the combo in time. Or maybe the demo, but uh, oh. nonetheless, nice play. Oh, bang! 
two headshots in consecutive, not key players, just the off classes, but uh, just it's still a numbers game, and uh, he Minnick's now has angle on there. them, bro. Oh man, that medic was literally just standing here in sight line. Yeah, they're just gonna have to give this mid up short of some miracle pipes. Uh, nice forward play by Faith, taking the ground quickly, and yeah, Amfrak and who's the demo there? Uh, Hadina just has to get out. 98% for TBC. Retro 6 still on 90%, but uh, shouldn't really matter. They'll get it up by the time they push. Oh, Katie is getting down to 20. And Turtle still having his little battle there with, I think it's Jubius on the flank. Katie should have a. I feel like secondary soldiers should almost always go in a sewer. It's just such an amazing place to be. And then, like, you can have a sniper in there shooting the doors, and the soldier just baits him. Because scouts, mm. as a scout, when I play this map, I always want to go into that room. It just feels like such an awesome place to be. But well, if there's one fifty on that soldier, he can't jump. I think you're going to take um, that opportunity to push, possibly. Coz is in no man's land. Really, really, really awkward positioning by him. He needs to just get around to his team. I don't think uh, TBC really know how they want to hold this. They're just kind of floating around halfway between high and low, uh, trying to just offering up sniper lines without being able to apply real salt damage from the soldiers. Either be further back or further forward, and uh, hell, in this case, I'd probably just want to be a bit further forward. At this rate, he's actually going to catch someone from the bottom. It looks like he is relocating there. Turtle's still solo holding up top. He is getting support, getting the occasional buff. See, it's times like this where I like. I'm not saying what these teams are doing wrong, but by this stage, the Div 1 teams would just be like, fuck it, and we're just a uber to play yeah. in. And it's not with any intention of having a good uber, it's just don't have a bad exit post uber and because ubers generally speaking always favor the defensive team so if you can just do an okay trade then you can just push again afterwards and yeah well here comes the uber and it looks like they've decided to pursue the sniper yeah tbc just um, got impatient and it's a pretty awful one to be honest med is going to get crushed and frick down demo down soldier in back play is going to land on the <laughs> he really wants this sniper if he doesn't get it it's going to be one sad randy finally picks him off but uh, I'm not sure if that was entirely worth the trade. Three players, a medic and a demo for a sniper. I'm wondering who's... Yeah. Oh, that's what? Demo down just well. gets stomped by Koza. That was really nice. One move. scout, he's not afraid to back his DM, and, you know, when you have to make big plays, it can be really valuable. Oh, really? And once again, the two scouts from right. Oh, jeez, these guys are just tearing Retro a new one. That yeah, the hurt. individual DM just then was really, really good. Mm, and the positioning too, careful. just good dodging, coming in from all angles. Honestly, it would have just felt like a plague of red people. And you're these soldiers on the floor with no rockets thinking, Why me? <laughs> How did I let this happen? Right, the now Turtle's going to jump chokes. over. So they picked up Mouse there as well, and then they're all going to jump on the point. No one's going to be able to come in because they're putting so much pressure. Turtle will go forward here. He's going to run into a scout, more direct rocket, and he would have been able to just straight pick him. Yeah, just the power of commitment there. TBC didn't do anything fancy, just actually went in. And uh, Retro 6 just didn't know how to do with it. Nice early uber pop, but the uber is doing absolutely nothing because they just kind of picked a door and see what was up. They're going to get yeah, the cap though, just... just... Oh, yeah. Cool. This is why I don't like holding up high. I don't think it's anywhere near the point, which is obvious, but... Well, like, I don't think it is... serves any purpose being up there. It's too, too passive. And Mouse had changed to heavy. And unfortunately for him, it was just not the right time. He wasn't even able to rush the point to, as scout to try and, you know, um, try and disrupt that until the combo could get there. It was probably all over anyway, but... Either way, neither demo really getting any uh, damage on each other. Both of the red soldiers jumped up. You see both of the blue scouts here. One's going to rush forward behind. Going to come in for the pincer movement with the left-hand scout. Mouse, Dubious, and Rumo going down there. And, of course, Brutalix getting dumpstered in the corner. And right now, the demo's got such a good position to put damage down. But it's only him and the medic. They need to get out. And he actually came out. I don't know what that was for. I don't know if he's buying time for Som to get out, which he certainly has done or what. But Som, 73% uber, well and truly out of there. And uh, even if a scout is chasing, I doubt he'll catch him. At least Som can't jump. If he can't jump, this no, no, no one chased that far. Yeah, Faith couldn't get out of there. No, no way. Um, the scouts for Retro Six too aggressive. Should, try, should just try to play it a little bit slower. Exploit the wide open spaces, um, which is exactly what the TBC scouts did there. Just staying alive, doing their thing. 
I like that KDS has gone back to scout as well. We did get some really impressive sniper picks, but we kind of want to see more action than this. And Randy, finally, they were walking over a massive carpet of stickies oh, before that's... they popped that over. Excellent, excellent stuff. Just exploiting the fact that they get a free kill here. I don't know what Amfrek is doing. Grossly a bad positioning for him. And, uh, yeah, hmm. I thought that was going to be a good move by TBC. They found a free pick with it, but then they just milled around off that pick and... You know, they hadn't popped the other Ruby, so they all just died. If they'd all just got out after that player, they would have been in much better stead. And as, we're looking uh, at a demo, a combo, and a scout just there. And no, the Feverum was so fractured that it was just going to end in tears. Just total point lost. I uh, can't do much about that. Mm -hmm. Righto, so let's have a look at the scoreboard, folks. It is 2-2 with 9 minutes and 20 seconds left in, uh, left in this half. Of course, this is the Oswaltress Winter League 9th edition. Um, L8? L9? Nine. Nine? Yeah, sorry. Yeah. Um, <clears throat> getting old. <clears throat> but, uh, yeah, so we do have halves. So first to three or first to 30 minutes will be a half, and then we're going to be swapping over. And, uh, what's the second map for tonight, Mercy? Uh, well, the same map so yesterday, same round, so I'm pretty sure it'll be Gravel Pit. Oh, I thought it was Snake Water and Gravel Pit yesterday. Didn't we go s gravel pit and then gully, then then process? We or is this a different round? Am uh, I just talking out my ass? Maybe I, it was maybe it was process badlands. What day is um, it? I don't even know. That's okay. <laughs> scrim day. Scrim day. Yes, scrim day Tuesday for me. It's just having a look at the stats here. Uh, who was it that I wanted to comment on? Someone is having a huge game. Uh. Kadius, second most damage on the scoreboard, going 18-6 as scout. That's really impressive stuff, especially at this, uh, especially at Div three. And yeah, uh, of course, Faith me, is on top. Someone was telling me that uh, he usually has somewhere around about 70% accuracy. So uh, that's uh, it's almost premier level uh, accuracy, for want of a better term. Yep, but it's uh it's more than just playing like an MGE DM idiot because he's not dying much pick picking his battles. Um, yeah. Playing really well. So it's not just stats. Um, of course, was Randy a... as well leading the way for a TBC. There was a really interesting jump by Dubious there to get in the door. I mean, there was stickies on it. He should have been able to see them and he still jumped in there to support for a possible kill. Um, oh, and well, <laughs> Dubious actually going to pick him up with Randy down. Dubious yeah, down. opportunity for a free kill there, sandwich there, but... Sticky jump into a door with stickies on it. Oh, questionable Uber. Brutalix was going backwards while the Uber was looking to go forwards. What? Never mind, you didn't Uber on blind. I don't know why. I, I was looking Uber for there. the action. I was like, God damn it, Griever the cameraman oh, fails again. Oh, I don't know. <laughs> I, yeah, never mind. Um, good work, Sam. You didn't Uber at a bad time. Um, but nothing's still happening. Actually, big man Hawks is there. Hawks, what is the second map? This is your team. You should know. Alright, so... Yeah, it looks like they're just gonna opt for... It's like so... a granary stalemate, except there's no excuse. I think with the med holding here, what you probably want to do is just like... Single over a primary soldier around the corner. Try to distract the people watching computer room, and then just try to swarm the computer room with three maybe. Like, soldier lead to scout. I don't know, that might work. Um... Maybe not though, it is a tight room. Oh, there room. was the jump, there was the jump, and Dubious shut down without managing to force Uber. Uh, Hideno did get down pretty low there, 53 health on that red mm. demo. Oh, look the at that, throw away a player and hope that the other team will then fail to push Strat. Mm -hmm. it's, it's it's a timeless one's worked for rewound many a year time on Granary last. Maybe that was a bit rude. <laughs> you what, mate? So it looks like Faith is going to come and uh, put some more Kinda stickies sad, on these doors. Well, I suppose they lost the scout there, which is why they didn't then push, which is actually probably correct. Scouts are just... Need to on be up, need to have good is... health. Yeah. Yep, yeah, we're pushing in a minute, so important. There's just so many doors to get in. They will have flank that you will be able to do stuff. I feel like defending second as a scout. Maybe I just haven't worked it out yet, but I don't think it's as good. Like, you can't do much. But, uh... I'm hoping Badlands is going to be a bit more exciting than this. Oh, hey, Dino down. Shit, that's... That, okay. That's a trade worth taking. Uh, Faith is way, way, way too far forward, and by that I mean he's in the correct position and his team is in here. Uh, but yep. Man, it means the same thing. As, there we go, finally getting scout support. Where is Som and... Finally coming forward. Oh, man, look at that. Mouse gets picked up. 
And there's just so much damage here. So much damage. Red team, two players. Scout and on the, the red and you scout. 22. Oh, nice. Big. That was a big shot. That was a literally, genuinely big. Yeah, rumor didn't choke. I mean, he got in for free. No one was watching him, but uh, you know that moment when you get behind and you know you can only see mid back. Dubious. Your I shoulders believe. get tighter. I believe Dubious. Oh, and he bounces around the scout and he misses his rocket. Oh lord. That's a Roma's life. Oh, and Freck falls to the faith pipe. What, what the oh, faith for all of that? Oopsie daisy. Wow. Is, uh, can this be a new term, by the way, the faith pipes? I, th I think I think you've just created something, faith pipes. Yeah, I'm gonna go. Mm. With that. Wasn't his alias Faithless? Uh, Am I wrong in that? A, could be a different person. Isn't Faithless a girl? Faith is ah. Uh, I don't no. know. That's a good bomb. Um, unfortunately for Turtle, he did not manage to kill Som. Got down to 61 health. Um, however, it looks like Red is going to be given this up for free. Som got down to less than 20 just then, by the way. Yeah, just it's it's once once you're down a player, it's kind of hard to just walk back in, which is good. You shouldn't be able to. Uh, so they did the right option just to retreat back. Uh, they will easily have six for the last. And uh, once again, these soldiers trying to bomb in, they never really quite land it right. Dubious always seems to plant his feet somewhere where he's easy to kill. I'm not really sure how he should be doing it. Maybe, to be honest, I'd be trying to rocket jump off the right wall. Probably get you a lot deeper in. Juggling and that demo, Medic's going to come back to catch him. Leave the soldier there, and the soldier's actually going to jump off. The Uber was about to run out. Interesting decision just there. However, he did manage to get some heals from the mid, but yet again, no height advantage. They are pushing across though. Demo, left click, right click, left click, right click. And that soldier is going to go down. So that is Randy down. Three health on Mouse, 71 on Brutalix, and 25 on Som. But they've managed to cap up that point. And uh, right now, Retro 6 trying to head forward and with a bit of luck, get their hands on another cap point. Cadius has gone Sniper again. That was really nice push by Brutalix and Faith. They pretty much just MGE'd out um, their respective opponents just by doing better leapfrogging. Um, by that I mean, you know, being the forward one when you've got ammo, backing to reload, and then just exchanging. Um, wow. And, and then Brutalix went in a little bit too deep, but uh, Faith supported him with a reload, and they ended up just walking in and bullying the point. As uh, Suicide in the last, the sentry gives him a little bit of insurance, and he might actually get the medic hit. Oh my god, dropped Uber. Dubious takes him down. Uh, thanks for the boost, Rumo. He Unfortunately. Sent, and, uh, yeah, they're just gonna. The soldier couldn't do anything here, Mercy. This isn't over though. This if this heavy lives, and there's a sniper trying to kill him. The medic's running at him. Oh, he's down. Oh, nice. never mind. Faith arrives in time just to clean up. How depressing. Because even after that first headshot by Cadius, he got a 150 headshot on that soldier with the combo, and he was just rooted. He couldn't do anything. He was under 50, and yeah, that that whole thing fell to pieces. Anyway, half time here on GTV. I'm Grieve. I got no mercy with me tonight. And, uh, yeah, so this is only the first map, people. We do have Badlands coming up after this. TBC versus Retro 6. Uh, positions 1st and 2nd, respectively, in Division 3 of the Oz Fortress Winter League 9th Edition. And this is, of course, the last round, so, uh, winner takes all. Look at these kids. Good Frankish being cast in a quality game. Yes, we want to see you sit there indecisively holding points for ages. No, honestly, <laughs> other than the uh, the long it's holds, part it's of been TF2. it is part of TF2. Other than the long holds, it's been it has been a very quality game thus far. Good amounts of yes and oh shit. Anyway, what up, people? in Mumble. See, we've got a whole bunch of you in Mumble tonight, and. Uh, Presumably then watching on STV and shout out to everyone in the stream as well. Good to have y'all along tonight. Hope you guys are having yourselves a good one. In fact, uh, how, how's your uh, how's your supply of red cordial, Mercy? Uh, I still got the larger half of a glass to go. This is good. This been is good. too distracted by the game. Yeah, well, th th that's good. You know, when you're having such a good time, you don't even need to drink to to pass the time. So yeah. I had a. So I said earlier I went and saw Oblivion. Instead of getting a giant frozen coke like I normally do when I watch a movie, I had a large um, Raspberry? caramel caramel latte from Gloria Jeans. Oh, from where? And um, Gloria Jeans. So like, it's cheap and nasty, but it's oh so sweet. And uh, when I don't want a real cup of coffee, I just get 
get that, which I feel a bit bad about. I'm not I'm not necessarily one to support their cause, so I won't go into too much detail. But um, yeah, it was good. Kept me awake during the movie after not sleeping all night, and now I'm buzzed for this game. That sounds good. Right, we are getting to the second half. Shout out to Hawks and Disturbed, who are currently fighting in stream chat. Um, dear God, people arguing on the internet. Lucky I love both of you. Anyway, hey Dino, wow, takes a lot of damage. So does Faith actually, 66 and 82. Both Red Scouts have got top one. Blue Scout up on the right-hand side. First Soldier Bomb coming through. That Soldier is way up in the air. He's actually going to get away. And of course, this Soldier here has been able to come <laughs> forward. Wow. I, I always like to see Scouts fall to their death. I don't care how many times I see it. It's still funny. There's nothing worse than being that Scout. Oh, oh! Nice, 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 nice. Stomped, Dubious. I think the term actually isn't even stomped. I think it's stolen. I think Haydino just stole that from both soldiers. He was like, no, it's my pipe. Time has been added. And I has secondary kill, and then... No. 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 Not at all. No. My plan. Uh, Song got out, though. He's good at that. It, it's it, He has a good sense of when to say, my team are being retired, it's time to bail on them and preserve Uber. Uh, but that was a bad Uber. They've dropped their demo faith. They shouldn't be still out here. They're kind of committing. Maybe this will work out, but it's super risky from Retro. If this goes badly, it's pretty much round over for them. And uh, yeah, I think they've just realized it and all oh, getting out. Dubious a little bit late to the escape party. But we'll get Koza. Yeah, that, that was, was so um, dangerous turning on Koza just then. Like, he had to hit that rocket or he was absolutely fucked. You say that, but if you miss that rocket, he's a bit of a noob. It's a pretty thin corridor. Wow, that was <laughs> nice timing by Roommate. Actually, a lot of cap percentage. Uh, there will be a heavy demolitions amount on the point, though. So I was about to say, maybe you should just, like, spy ninja cap. Spy ninja cap? Oh, Scout's gonna go! Scout's gonna go on the medic! Scout! Did he back off? He backed off. Where are your nuts, son? I'm sorry, it's really easy to say from ECV, but... <laughs> He's a team player. Yeah, team player, indeed. Play with advantages, my god, Griever. The medic was walking right out in front of him. I'm just like, hold down that W button, son. You can do it. Mm -hmm. Well, a lot, a lot of Scouts these days, the problem is, is that they're actually letting go of the W button sometimes. You just need to... F hold it down for the full application of the plus full experience. So the problem I see with this push is it... it I don't know how a combo is ever going to get anything done moving him through this path. I mean, eventually you just have to Uber in the train. Hadeon has got to be really careful not to take damage while this is going on because he just has, he has nowhere near scouts heal support. Whereas uh, Faith can easily get heal support if he wants it. I love it how these teams continually push their combos into each other, and then, oh man, oh this could have been the most beautiful <laughs> si oh. Dubious shoots himself in the face. You're right though, you, these, these went in doubt, I mean, it's good, you trade Ubers, try something. Um, both Randy and uh, Brutalix are more than happy to uh, ulti duo duke it out. And, and the meds are not bad enough that they don't just like do derpy pops, like both meds have a good understanding of like, when they kind of have to pop, and, and when they can afford to kind of hold it. Um, oh. Though they have been dropping their demo man and saving their primaries a little bit too much to my liking. So Disturbed is calling you out, Mercy Man. He's saying, not a problem with the push, it's a problem with the map. This push here. The push to before that you were saying, you know. Yeah, I mean... Sorry, that was like half a cup of red quarter ago. Um, yeah. No, no, but like... I mean, I'm not gonna. I haven't been really criticizing map design because we've got what we've got to work with it. But uh, it, it, he's right; it's not an easy push. Um, but there's plenty of other situa examples of pushes that are not easy. Uh, I don't think. I mean, it encourages slower gameplay, but like, you know, Granary Yard yeah. encourages slower gameplay. It's not as bad as Yukon. Yukon was like. It's, it's kind of Yukon-esque in the sense that they're, they're, they're like the long, soldier. thin tunnels. And if, if, if the flanks are just long, thin tunnels, then the defense will see you coming a mile off and... Yeah, that's the problem. Uh, ...monkey business rotating, so you can never really get in. Um, but there is that garage, uh, the, the sewer. I don't feel like it's explored enough as a pushing option. I, I've seen teams routinely just take sewer, hang sewer, and then just like start healing from the door. And these back holds, like you got to be fought against that. It, being fought against is actually great, but teams holding back sort of on the point just get wrecked by um 
just a sniper just standing at that sewer roller door getting healed with two soldiers behind him like what you gonna do so um you know people can criticize the map and I think they're valid but it's not like the maps too soon like you know, I don't think that we should just give up so early granary was explored for four years before people lost interest in a oh man Looks like they're going to go off this headshot. Hey, doing a nice option. Oh, but Faith really going in deep. He's not getting any support. Oh, man. Why Why no Uber? Why no save? The soldier, whoever that is, should be just getting in there. Or maybe Faith should be calling that he's going forward. The only thing to save this is that sniper standing at the back doling out damage. And there's now a scout fighting in here. Soldier's going to come up behind him. That scout is going to get out. No demo. Going to pressure him. Going to pick him up. Freck is down. I didn't actually see who caught no, Freck there, that was either. huge. Uh, mouse got, so, uh, Freck just must have got out of position. For a scout to kill you there, it's kind of, either my whole team died around me or I was standing somewhere dumb. But yeah, game's kind of slowed down, nature of the sniper. Uh, scout's starting to get more impatient, just trying things. The sort of crap I always trade scrims on this map, but, uh, you know, it doesn't really make for good strategy here, yeah, just Free, free kills, They've got basically. a pick though, and look at that, they're gonna get a body shot on Haydino, gonna force him back a little bit, and... the scout here is just, like, Coz is dead They should have. the other team responds that. correctly. You shouldn't do that, that's like really, oh, really, uh, impatient view. play. Helicopter view live on Griever TV as the Uber oh. comes in. Oh man, and this demo's Control dead to the world. Reload a sh reload a sh rocket. <laughs> Never mind, he did get him with the sixth shotgun in the end. And uh, going in further as well, uh, he's actually going to get Mfreg out of the Ford spawn. And uh, there we go, the support's coming in. Retro on a roll, 4-2. And you know, I don't feel like they did anything to deserve that. They just played steady like they'd been all of a sudden just... TPC just suddenly crumbled around them. Two headshots and... Uh, they didn't seem to be able to drop back off those early picks. Well, that is one thing, like, when TBC takes the initiative, they really seem to be doling it out, so I don't know why they keep letting Richo kind of, you know, set the pace when they get in the uh, it's, it, it's know easy it's, to be it's difficult. No, it, it's easy to be coordinated when you're attacking. But the, being coordinated when you're retreating is, like, so much harder, and uh, so if you can always have momentum, then just you'll win easily as... This rollout is still not over. Soldier on the flank, they're kind of getting caught out. Um, yeah, he's eventually going to get cleaned up. Uh, oh, you got the <laughs> mid. Wow. Because they That's had player advantage, stuff. but everyone was just so low. Oh, Turtle's actually going to pick up Faith there. See, like, I don't know, like, the scout should be able to call out soldiers there, and Som should be able to rotate around the crate so that he can't see him, but I don't know what's going on. That shouldn't really happen. That's just a bit of a screw-up. And because of that, of course, TBC will be able to pretty comfortably hold the second point. With scouts dying so early on the rollout for them, which is obviously bad, it means they're here already, which is great. And uh, there's no way that Retro can get in here and just try to manhandle the point. Retro, yeah, Retro wasn't really watching because they've only had one player there for quite a period of time. Usual stickies going up, and, uh, well, do you, do you know this classic song? It feels a little bit like history repeating. Yeah. It's a great we have... Oh no, they're not fucking around. Looks like they're just going to go for it. Or are they going to drop their nuts? Well, this is good. I mean, look how far they can walk out for free. Why not? <laughs> Don't walk out. I think oh, going it's with... a crits. It's a crits, but you've actually got to hit them with the crits, kids. Because now there's sure. an over. And... That's actually a really awful way to use a crits, Craig. Like, when you go in a crits, Craig, you go in with like three heavies in the one place, that's exactly what you don't do because the way to beat a crits is just to uber and a face jump, so you just need to be really spread out so that the crit creaking players don't like take splash damage, I, I don't know what the soldiers were thinking there, that was doomed to fail. They are going to have it up real quick, so if they use it right as they get 100% we may get to see something special, and weirdly enough TBC is still holding quite far forward. <laughs> Faith proving that if you fully charge a sticky, yes, you can put it up on the top beams. Not that uh, that will ever be relevant. And oh, there's the headshot that counts. Snom, d snom, <laughs> som down. Uh, but uh, they're actually really forward holding here, Retro. They got Demo Man holding, getting free kills in the sewer. I really like it. Of course, oh, he's gonna get caught out. 
Ooh. Yeah, good aggressive Uber by uh, TBC, realizing that they can get in computer room pretty much for free. And for well, Retro Six actually trying to combat this, this is ambitious. And uh, yeah, they're going to get absolutely punished for it. Um, I think they, I think Redlex thought that they had less rockets loaded than they did. Uh, that, that's the only reason I can think of why you would do that play. Um, and just didn't turn out the way he thought. Maybe he's just nutting up, going hard. Turtle with the big jump. Oh, and he's spinning around <laughs> and he's... <laughs> Scout forward, he's being flanked from behind though. That oh. demo in so much trouble. Dubious down, somehow linking up. And oh no, the scout didn't go down. He does take a pipe to the face though. That's Randy. Oh, no, man. no, that wasn't Randy. That was Cadius, but Randy going down as well. And we've still got the scout and the demo here. Soldier jumping around. He's popped the medic up. He's going on the medic. <laughs> Oh, hey, hey, Dino. Hey, Dino. You, yeah, honestly, man. How many players want to try to kill his medic? It's just like You're not line him up, medic. kills, kills for free demo kills here, and um, yeah, nice play by Hey Dino. Some really important middies and at, like ammo selection, like pulling out his Melita, good just choice. But a uh, bit of a choke yeah. by Retro, to be honest. They uh, really should have come away with more after what they committed. And it's funny to see that after failing that so badly. Um, they're actually not really in any more trouble than they were when they started it. Um, so got rumor, TDC the way, not so really punishing. Slow them down a tiny bit. Although that's rumor, so he's probably just going to come back as sniper, even though I think Koza might be the normal choice. So let's yep. see. I, I don't understand. No, he's this come is up, he's come up cl cl clearly someone has not been counting that Uber. This total brain fart. He goes 80% uh, Uber advantage. Sad, sad. And I, I, in this situation, I was actually expecting the scout to come back as heavy. I think scouts are like, well, they're coming. Man, how cool is a heavy? Is pushing last. That's that's the shit. I bend it, eat your heart out. I just approved a heavy. <laughs> that oh, demo, that, that demo, demo Jesus! <laughs> Flying backwards, zooming around. So it turns out that Heavy just putting down const- Oh, they're gonna get pincered here, they're gonna get pincered here. Soldier's gonna come through, where's the support? Where is the support? They can have three players for free here. They're gonna get one of them, are they gonna get another one? Scout got the big chase hit on the medic, he is gonna get him. And then Turtle is gonna get cleaned up. Really good work by Retro6 there, it's seemingly obvious, but just having that momentum, chasing oh, the kills man. as a team, and of course capping the point while they did it. And then of course picking up Hey Dino. Seven times cap. Look at that, three yeah. players are not going to oh, get Oh god, another spawn. one in. Jeez. I'm all for big plays, but uh, there was three heavy players about right there with absolutely full ammo, obviously. Um, oh, and another one! Better timing though, and he will in fact get the pop. Uh, so... That worked out well. Yeah, indeed. Mouse a little bit better on his timing, um, though it might have been just a bit of luck always helps as our faith catches Koza. Again. Again. But he's got 13 seconds as well. Um, unfortunate that they are nowhere near going to have Uber. In fact, TBC obviously has a pretty major Uber advantage. Now they've got a century at last, so it makes me wonder if they're possibly thinking of going on the Uber advantage. Not likely, but... Um, it's hard to know. I mean, I don't think the heavy... Uh, I don't think the engineer is an indication either way of whether they want to push off. If anything, I'd say it's probably more likely they don't. Because if I was going to push off this point... Uh, actually, yeah, I don't think that... I don't think End would be good enough to hold the last point, if that makes sense. I was more thinking of the positioning, like, that was... I, like, I, I, I play End actually a lot on this last point off class, I think it's great. And there's a lot of good sentry spots, but there's no sentry spot that will cover every door. Like, you can't just plonk down a sentry and go, yeah, that's got it. No one can get the point, whereas you can on Badlands. Um, and a lot of other points. Like, yeah. know that know that a scout can't back up if there's a sentry there, whereas it's too big, there's too many flanks for that to be possible. Um, I definitely don't usually build a sentry where they put it. Not to say it's a bad spot, just... I don't know, I'm more of a fan of... Um, well, it, somewhere it, it where I can, somewhere where I can hit it. If they come in with demo and no one jumps, or if they bring it... And, you know, a soldier has to jump before he sees it for it to really be effective. It's a, it's a surprise factor one, the, the, which is fine and it can work really well. The downside is that if they spot it, you can't like prevent them from spamming it because you can't stand there and hit it. Whereas the sentries near spawn you can protect and then just spawn camp, spawn swap when they actually commit. Uh, so it, a it's a little bit more versatile. Yeah, well, I'm just talking about whatever because 
shit all's happening. No, 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 I see the slow motion heat shot. Oh, I wasn't even watching it. <laughs> like, yeah, and, uh, it was just really weird. The soldier walked past, and then Koza just kind of like slyly flicked it to the left and somehow caught it. And you gotta wonder, like, now teams do this on Granary too. They like see maybe, I don't know, they, they want to get picks. So they go sniper, someone's like, it's worse on Granary, like, scout, like, open the door for me, I'm gonna get some picks through the door. And then they like, yeah, got a soldier, high five, let's wait for him to respawn. Like, what did that kill achieve? Absolutely nothing, I didn't even try to push off it, so. And they can't, like, with a sniper and an eng, what, what possible pick are they getting that could justify attempting something like that? And the only answer is medic, not even a demo man is worth it. Um, Randy really keen here, I think he's going for it, indeed he is. He's Ubering and... Yeah, oh, man, this is a classic Randy play, and I, I actually do like it. It's a good decision. I think they've got a Medic little bit Randy. out. They got a little bit hard countered by a mouse, which is a bit unfortunate, and I think it's going to cost them the round. Uh, in most other circumstances, I think that would have worked really well. <laughs> but the sentry, don't you hate on the sentry? That little guy's doing work. He's buying oh, time. Cadius, Seven seconds, though. Really? Seven seconds. To Cadius get picked <laughs> by the. He did soldier not get picked point, by this. Soldier on soldier needs no! to actually let his rockets... Oh, oh no! Jokes. That'll be nice. Nice plays by um, the capping soldier. Yeah, dubious. Just sh shooting... Yeah. No, that first rocket... I think it was... I'm not sure who which... But that first rocket had to hit. Didn't bounce him off the point. And uh, Dubious's rocket did. And that little little hop up making all the difference. Soldier not able to walk on the point. Oh, yo, 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 yo. 96, oh, yo. Thank you. 96 has passed. Yeah. Um, big, if, if these teams watch this map tonight, um, and, and everyone who plays competitively in Australasia, waiting 90 seconds, you are just such a good person. Unlike retards like Combust. Love you, bro. So when I look up to my right at like 4 or 5 o'clock, mm -hmm. there's a analog clock on the wall that I built in... DT in year eight, still the hell running. Is DT design and technology. Um. So it's it's got a uh, like MDF wooden base that you can't see, and then three bits of coloured perspex in like a star. Oh hell! It's sick. And then in the centre, because we had to use a bit of recycle, is a CD reverse, so like a shiny silver disc, and uh, it still still tells the time in Roman numerals, analog, ticking away. Yeah. And I always, every time I, the second a map finishes, if ever I'm adminning it or, um, or pseudo adminning it from playing, I always look up and just go, yep, by the next time that second hand's on the other side, plus oh, one go shit. round. Easy as shit. Surprised you didn't give something like that to your mum or something. It's my clock. <laughs> oh, man. Um, when I was in the same year, I made a, I, I, I sewed a pillow, yeah, we had to do sewing. I sewed a pillow case. Sewing's cool. I, I got a pi I got a pillow case. Yeah, my, mine it's like, like yeah. it's like not kidding you, thirty centimeters beneath the clock. That's <laughs> that's pretty cool. Like yeah, well I did it in like, you know, really nice like light midnight blue and it had a really cool like half crescent moon in yellow and I was pretty proud of that, you know. Was it cross stitching or sewing? Uh sewing. And no, then mine and was then, cross stitching. And then you know, I um I got older. Yeah, cool yeah. gaming talk, guys. Real yeah, talk with Grieger and Mercy. Oh, man. <laughs> anyway, what's up, stream viewers? Welcome to GTV. Hope you guys are uh, having yourselves a good night. And um, feel free to tell me how sexy the stream looks if your internet is capable of looking at it. I really don't like I've had to drop the stream quality, like the actual amount of data I'm pushing to you guys, because we're running on our rig is so good right now. I have 120 FPS with Chris's. Max I opened it earlier, earlier, Griever, and it was lagging for me. So I don't know. Get it. your get your shit together, dude. That's two megabit a second, man. I can't drop it any further. Like it was definitely wasn't my TPG connection. Of course, it was your TPG. I haven't dropped a single frame on my end. Hey, Dandy Epps, doesn't what's lag. Up, Check that out. Mados is like, stream looks great, mate. Well, actually, he's he's not Australian, but he's gets to have an Australian accent said by a Kiwi for for tonight. So, <laughs> so remember when like V three won Div six, and we're all like, 
want to challenge Div Five champs? Yeah. Want to yeah. challenge Div no, Four? No, they wanted to Does challenge this... Div Four. There was yeah. and and Div Five. No, they wanted to challenge Div Five champs. Does this count? Because like TBC and Re Retro Six is like kind like there's no Kaki and there's no Roy, but like it's got some of the same Who? players. The the demo man and primary soldier of V3, obviously they disbanded. Even, you didn't even set up my second who. Fuck you, Messi. Fuck you. Oh, did I miss a perfect? Yeah, the, the yeah. perfect who. I'm sorry. Yeah, we we just yeah. I mean, we gelled so well talking about our pillows and stuff, and then <laughs> pillow talk. Oh god. <laughs> no, don't say pillow talk. You weren't meant to go on that. <laughs> oh fuck sakes. Good evening, gamers. Welcome to GTV. I am a heterosexual. Just putting it out there. Anyway, wow. Now my girlfriend's staring at me. Shit. Oh hell. What are you doing. Thought he played video games. Oh, man. So looks like people still just wasting time. Ah, uh, Badlands. I haven't. Oh, it's been a while since I've seen TVC play Badlands, but I remember they were pretty good. Um, obviously both teams will be a lot more well rehearsed. Uh, which probably benefits soldiers more. Felt like the scouts, had, like, Cadius had way too much free room in the first half of that map. In fact, Cadius and Mouse both were given way too much free room in the early stages of that match. And uh, they got shut down pretty handily towards the end. And in fact, proceeded, I think, got played worse and worse as the map went on. And uh, just by playing more impatient, trying to make things happen when they don't have to. Um, in the end, like, Faith and Brutalix really brought it home, played really well for Retro. I think they'd be the a dubious co the right place at the right time to click on his feet. Shout out to Dubious. Oh, you know, just... You can never compliment a secondary soldier. They're always just <laughs> doing that thing that secondaries do, being herp and shoot, maybe they die and win the rollout. Shoot land on the German, fucking... Oh. You have to I... really be watching to notice that a secondary soldier is the reason why someone won a roll. Like, yeah. they, they jumped in and... They lived for two extra rockets, and that's the reason why they won the why you win the rollout. Like that is non-trivial stuff. Like before we go like live, pulling just... a player, but you just never see it when you're casting. You got to actually be like demo reviewing a secondary to really notice most of that stuff. Yeah, I just I'd like I think Aporia had a nut at me once for missing something. It was like I'd done, I'd like I'd I'd missed him doing a bomb to pop the medic.